today I'm going to show you my morning gym routine because I have two favorite things in the entire world and the first one is my morning routine here in Spain. The second one is my skincare routine. So yesterday evening I got a detox facial done because I had a bit of texture on my forehead and I just woke up, it's completely gone. It's completely gone. Best thing is that I bought the products that they did the facial with, so the skincare, and now I'm going to apply my skincare. But first, I'm using this tongue scraper as a detox, and that is the skincare that I got yesterday. Not the eye cream though, but the rest. I finished using my tongue scraper, and now I am going to drink a bit of water. I'm just quickly going to grab it from the kitchen, and then we'll do our skincare. So excited. During my facial yesterday, she said that my skin was dehydrated, so I'm probably not drinking enough anyway. So cheers. First step was this cleansing milk. Now I have to take it off with a cotton pad toner. Ooh, spicy. This serum. Told me not to forget my neck and my chest, forgot always, cream. And the final step is this eye cream. Obviously, I have to apply a sunscreen still. Don't worry. For hair, I'm just going to brush it because I'll put it in a bun anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now before doing makeup, I'm going to pick a gym outfit and today we are doing legs. So let's see what we're going to wear. Blue leggings, white sports bra, and then this one. So the fit is on and ideally I like to lay out my clothes the night before so I don't have any thinking to do. But since I knew I would be filming anyways and that usually takes more time, I was like, I'm fine, I'll pick my outfit tomorrow. So this is a choice. We have the blue leggings and then the white sports bra. I have to iron my shirt still, which is another thing that I hate doing when I wanna to rush to the gym in the morning. So definitely make sure to lay out your clothes the night before. It just helps making things easier, makes sticking to going to the gym easier. It's just less excuses overall for yourself. But now I'm going to quickly do my makeup. You've seen it in my previous video. So we're just going to rush through it. some deodorant and perfume but before I get all these questions about why I wear a full face to the gym I love it I just get ready for the day I don't really sweat in my face and then I shower at the gym but I'll just leave my face maybe do a little touch-up and then I'm just good to go I don't have to worry about it I don't have to bring my makeup back and I'm ready so that's my preferred way of living This is like the best gym ever. This is the gym fit. Got my shirt tucked in, got my blue leggings. Love it. I get so much hate for tucking my shirt in and I completely understand it. However, I do it for myself because I love it. I love the look and I love feeling confident in my gym fit. So that's why I tuck my shirt in. And if you hate it, then that's perfectly fine. And if you love it, then go for it.
Okay, so we're going to transition to some dynamic stretches to decrease the risk of getting injured. I am doing my 12-week gym program, the Elevate Guide, which I'll link in the description box down below if you want to go ahead and join me on this 12-week journey. I am actually doing the last leg workout of phase one, so I officially finished the first four weeks. But since I filmed that exact same workout in my last YouTube video, I decided to be a little sneaky and to pull some exercises from the next phase and do a different leg workout. So that is what we're going to watch today. So today I wanted to talk about failure because I've seen some comments saying that I always go to failure with my lifts and that it isn't good for you to go to failure. And even though my face might be looking like I'm about to hit failure or that it is super heavy, like a very intense workout, intense exercise, I don't go to failure with my lifts. Reason is that it is too risky. The risk of injury is simply not worth it for me. I'm not training for strength. I'm not training near my one rep max. What I'm doing is I always leave one to two reps in reserve, especially on the compound lifts. So I might be going to failure on an isolation exercise, for example, a cable lateral raise. The lowest weight on the cable is already pretty hard for me, so I might push myself there, but that's an isolation exercise. I wouldn't go anywhere near failure with a compound lift just simply because the risk of injury is not worth it for me also recovery takes quite long so i'd love to stay in the one to two reps in reserve meaning that yes it is very heavy and yes i give it my absolute all but if i had to do one or two more reps I would be able to do so. Now, the reason why I always make sure that I train with high effort is to recruit more of those fast twist muscle fibers because those fibers are more sensitive to muscle hypertrophy, which is muscle building, which is my goal. I want to build as much muscle as I can with my training. So after training, you have elevated protein synthesis levels. So let's say that we hit glutes on Monday as we do with the Elevate Guide. We hit glutes on Monday, so we have elevated protein synthesis levels for our glutes and we make sure that we eat enough protein we make sure that we eat at maintenance or preferably maybe even in a slight surplus there is enough energy going around and your body can properly heal those glutes we have enough rest because our second glute session is on friday that's why i love a higher frequency approach because the the elevated levels for protein synthesis, they don't stay up for a week. They only stay up for maybe 48 hours. So after those 48 hours, you technically are able to hit that muscle group again. And then you have those elevated levels again. So you'll have superior gains if you train them more frequently per week. Obviously, you have to keep recovery in mind, which is why I personally love to train my glutes on Monday and Friday. And then I have another leg day, but that's more focused on quads and calves. So I don't go to failure. I always leave one to two reps in reserve, but I do train with really high effort to make sure that I recruit more fast twist muscle fibers. Those are more sensitive to hypertrophy. You have elevated levels of protein synthesis after training, which is why I love a higher frequency approach when it comes to muscle building. And I also make sure that I have enough recovery to actually make sure that muscle building can take place. It's time for breakfast. Let me close that door real quick. There is this organic juicery here. They have the best protein shake, which I love to get in the morning, but they're closed today. So we're building our own breakfast. Step number one is to boil two eggs. And then I am going to toast some bread. This is raisin bread, love it. And then I'm going to add all the rest of the ingredients that you see here. But first, the eggs. sprouts and then eggs 
and then I have this little protein shake to go with it. The wind is crazy today, but it's fine. That was my little morning routine. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and then I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.